Well, we saw problems across our area from all of that storm, the storming over the weekend, but North Lima area was hit particularly hard. A lot of you sent in pictures of damage and flooding through our report it feature. First News reporter Rod Cowan tracked down some of that damage, and for one family, it was their minivan that saved the day. Really didn't hear that big of a crash. You just heard a little whoomp against the window like some wind had hit it and knocked a couple of uh, my wife's knickknacks into the uh, kitchen sink so she got up to come and look and she actually saw the tree down first. That is Darren Mishler, just one of the area homeowners waking up to storm damage again. Our van broke most of the fall. Thank <clears throat> Thank the good Lord of that or would have gone right through the kitchen windows into the house. Underneath this large tangled locust tree rests the Mishler's 2010 Chrysler minivan. It seems to have saved the Mishler's a lot more damage to their two-story brick home in Woodworth while they were inside. It landed on the roof a little bit, probably totaled the van, but we're thankful that uh, you know, nobody was hurt. Uh, houses and cars can be replaced, but people can't. With multiple branches from the fallen tree resting on the house and the minivan, Darren knew it was just a too big and too dangerous of a job to do by himself. That is where Bear Tree Service came in and remotely removed the tree safely. Every storm that comes through, we get at least two storm calls, maybe more. Matt Baird is the owner of Baird Tree Service, and not only has he and his crew been busy, today he got to work on a new piece of equipment. So we're using our new knuckle boom crane with a grapple saw on it, and it worked out perfect for the application we use it for today. Um, we had to take a tree off the house and off the car, and then we set everything for the crew to come back in and clean it up. Rod Cowan, WKBN 27 First News.